Hey guys, welcome to another another episode of the Unleashed and Unstoppable Show. My name is Todd Pierce, and on the line with me today, we've got a, a fantastic guest. His name is Dan, and he's from a company called Neurotech. And what these guys do is they're all about human optimization and performance. So today we're going to be talking about how we can optimize our performance, how we can reach peak performance, and apply that not just in business, but our personal life, relationships, all areas. Because as you're about to hear from Dan, like mm-hmm. when you get your chemistry right, when you get all the, the five pillars, as he says, lined up, what happens is you get amazing performance. So, mate, it's uh, it's an honor to have you on board today. Um, how about we start with uh, your backstory? So, how you guys kind of got into the whole nootropic human optimization space and what the journey's been like? Yeah. All right. Well, thanks thanks for the great intro and I jump right. straight into the backstory. <laughs> yeah. So, for anyone who doesn't know, Neurotech is the human optimization company. That's what we like to call it. And it started really out of necessity. So me and Philip, who's the other co-founder, went to uni together, separate degrees, friends from a while back, but we both were running along and going through the same problems. So how do we do the best that we can with our mindsets for like uni and also balancing like social life and all those areas. So we tried a bunch of things. We went down all the routes of like the study drugs and things, which is really the first taste we got of like nootropics and things you can do to alter and enhance your performance. Mm-hmm. And for anyone who's knowing, modafinil is not a long-term solution. Like it works in the short <laughs> term. We, we probably abused it more than we should have. <laughs> but uh, that really is what led us to the nootropic side of things. So we started but, doing research. Modafinil almost ended my relationship. Yeah. It turns you into <laughs> a focused, hyper-focused machine. It does. Like I was realizing that you take like half of one even, and if you didn't get on track to what you needed to do, You'd clean the house. You'd walk the dog. You'd go for a run. You'd be like, "This is the most productive, unproductive day ever." This is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we did that for a while, and then started researching what else is out there. Oh, nootropics. What's this? And we went down the route of all the basic ones. So you caffeine, L-theanine mixes. Started yep. buying stuff online and testing it, and going, "Oh, this, this works." You put some L-theanine with your coffee. You don't get the jitters. It feels much smoother, and it lasts a bit longer. You don't get nice. the come down. You're like, man, yep. if that's one thing out there. What are the other ones? What about the rest of it? So we started iterating and like buying things online, testing yep. it ourselves. And this was before we had any intention of turning it into a business. We just wanted to make something to help us get through uni, yep. which, which we did quite well. And it, by the time we had graduated, we both, I think this is like a sign of like the millennial times, I guess. Mm. Everyone was kind of, I've graduated uni. Now what do I do? Mm. I'm doing something that like, we both got full-time jobs and we're like, I kind of, I'm enjoying this, but it's not what I signed up for. It's not entirely what I wanted. Mm, yep. So we got a little bit of interested in business probably late 2016. So we started testing and planning and thinking. I'm like, hang on a second. We've got to develop this thing which helped us get through uni and it helps us do work. This is something that so many people could benefit from. And in the meantime, we also started getting more into like the health side of it as well. So we realized that we're taking this. And it's getting us like this little bit higher from our baseline. But what if we raise the baseline? That's going to get us even higher. Mm. So that's what we started like focusing on. And that really brought us back to, ah, oh, these new tropics can help that more than if you were to do it on your own. <laughs> and that was really the turning point for us. So you can take this and it will put you a step ahead so that everything else you want to do to raise yourself will already be at a higher level. Mm. And then we're like, all right, this, we, we probably have something here. So two guys, no idea what we're going to do with business. We're like, okay, where do we go for this? Let's go back to the uni. The uni loves business. And we looked it up and like, uni's got the iLab Accelerator, which is a great program. Yep. I looked on it, went on their website. I'm like, oh, the application's closing tomorrow. Okay, shit. So we're like, okay, we better put together a bit of a, a pitch for this. Whacked it together in about an hour, maybe hour and a half, submitted it. I'm like, ah, if it goes through, maybe we'll go further with, with this business side of things. And we got a call back in two days after it closed going, yep, yeah, you guys are in. Come and do nice. a pitch in like a week's time. We're like, oh shit, all right. <laughs> and that's, from that point on, we kind of were like, oh, we have something here. So going in there was probably the best thing that we could have done at the time. I don't think we would have got anything off the ground if we didn't <clears throat> jump into the the whole environment and the community of startups and business. Absolutely, Just, yeah. You'd be so lost on your own. And that was... It was a great program. That was three months of just like mentoring, coaching, and a little bit of investment. They gave us 5K. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, bit, little bit to get going. That's it. Which pretty much got us set up and bought some of the first batch. Yep. And that was 
where it got interesting. So after that, our first product was Clarity, which is a, like a, a nootropic with a bit of stim. The idea was it would be instead of a coffee, which was a fatal decision. <laughs> But yeah, that's what that's what we started. So clarity. A, clarity was tasty. I had that. I had the mate. I um, uh, had the OG batch. Mm. Yeah, you tried. It, it was saying. so tasty. I loved it. It tasted delicious and it mm. worked. But we realized again lack of the business side. We didn't do enough and um, trialing and testing with customers before we jumped in. Yep. We didn't realize that they wanted something that was either stimmy and like a like a pre-workout essentially with all the nootropics or they wanted something without the caffeine just the nootropics that they could pair with their coffee right and we did not make this connection yep. for about a year <laughs> and that that's that kind of you know starting to get your business feet though isn't it yeah yeah because yeah. we just we didn't know we didn't know yep and then from there we were going out and like doing it all ourselves so the two of us learning connecting with people and just building all the content building all the marketing going out and trying we we basically tried to do what we saw other people doing yep which isn't always the best approach <laughs> as we found out but you learn from your stakes and things and that led us down the route of eventually discontinuing that product so that was just over a year year and three months ago we discontinued that yep. and went all right this isn't working for us what do we want to do and at the time we were also having a few like personal Things like we were both kind of delving more into the the personal development and the health and mindset. So we realized the reasons we didn't make those connections was largely on us. So it was our responsibility. So we weren't putting ourselves or setting ourselves up mm. to the level to be the best versions of, of ourselves so we can be the best business overall. So that was a big thing. We essentially took nine months off just to work on that and focus on that. I love this. And I just want to like kind of pause it there for people that are watching. Like this, this mm. is like the startup journey. And like, you know, some people are disillusioned. They think that they're just going to have a big idea, get in, nail it the first go. But like, that's not true, is it? No, <laughs> it's not true. And like, there are some examples of that. But then the more examples of that, that we started to reach out to the founders and the companies about, you realize that 90% of the time that isn't what happened for them. They went through the same process. So mm. other companies they had beforehand kind of didn't work or they decided that it wasn't what they wanted and they switched and changed. And then you only see the ones that they keep going with because it's the right fit for them. They're the right people to do it and they have the experience to a certain level to be able yep. to make it work. Mm. So that's what we started doing was just working on ourselves and learning from people and going to events. And so yeah, I was going to say, so what, what kind of shifted in those nine months? Like what was the main focus when you were yeah. kind of having that nine month hiatus? Yeah. So that was for me, <clears throat> it was largely, I didn't realize I had more of an ego surrounding the thinking that I had everything I, I needed. So I thinking that I understood enough to make something work, even though I didn't know anything about business beforehand. Yeah. Like, yep, yeah, I'll do it. I'm good at things. I've done well in the past. Like, the track history says that I can figure stuff out and this rolling with that. Yep. And that took me a long time and a lot of uh, like deep personal work and exploring different things to actually get down that route and figure it out. Anyone who, who denies that trait is a liar. Yeah. <clears throat> I've got then, it. My old business partner um, with the software company that we started, like the, the ego, man, it's a killer. It's a killer, but it's also something that makes it's important work for you. You mm. need to be able to harness it and, really one of the ways I found to do that was to align what you want to do with your ego. So yep. use it to your advantage. Don't just try and like suffocate it and kill it. I went through that. It's, route. it's a, it's a cliche term, but you need to find that balance between ego and listening, right? Yeah. Cause I went down <laughs> all the spiritual path to like the ego is the enemy. Get rid of the ego. I'm like, it's not true. Okay. I'll try and do that. It didn't <laughs> fucking work. I just felt nah. lost and confused the whole time. <laughs> yep. But yeah. So I kept going down that and Phil was doing the same thing. Yep. And eventually we got to a point where we kind of reevaluated the business after nine months or so and went, all right, we've changed a bit. We've learned, we've matured. This is always going to keep going, but we think we're at the point where we can get going again with this business and mm. let's reassess it essentially from scratch, learn and use what we know and go forward. So we went and redeveloped all the products. We did a lot more like business testing and things and like customer interviews and did stuff. You, so just to, to interrupt before you, you continue, did you ever, did you have any kind of points during that nine months where you kind of thought about throwing in the towel that ever kind of cross your mind? Um, yeah, there are, it, it came very close. I mean, yep. the big, the, I'll get to the closest point we've had to throwing in the towel, which was <laughs> interesting story where I was on a holiday and it was, uh, we set ourselves a deadline of yep. 31st 
of November or 30th, last day of November to either start this up again or not start it up again after yep. we've done the planning for another nine months. Yep. And Phil had just gone through a breakup. So he was like not very happy and he's not in a yeah. place. I was just on holiday and left a job that I didn't want to be in. <laughs> So I'm calling him with dodgy internet on the rooftop of a hostel in Vietnam. Oh, wow. And we're going, this is the last day. What do we want to do? If we want to make this work, we have to take a loan out now. And we have to like commit to buying this batch so we have some involvement. And we're sitting there for like an hour going, do we do this? <laughs> What's going to make this happen? <laughs> and then eventually we're like, fuck it. We need to do it. This is like a little, we need to throw some some like some money in the ring to actually make it worthwhile and get yes. some commitment in there. And we're yep. like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> Signed up like on the phone over the, like the internet. And we're like, all right, we're doing it now. Nice. Pulled up like the, the manufacturer. We're like, here's the money. Let's fucking do it. Yeah. I just wanted to ask that there because like before you, you continue on talk about the planning and stuff that you did as you kind of uh, iterated yeah. the feedback, I think it's important to, to point out to people that are going through that spot there. Cause it's common that when you do get hit with an obstacle or, or something goes wrong, mm -hmm. it can completely deflate you. It can throw you off the horse. And like, I, I think the biggest issue that people have, and I've done coaching now for over a decade. Mm -hmm. um, and like, I've seen it a lot, like, you know, we compare ourselves to the people that we admire where mm -hmm. they are now. And we compare where we are now with where they are now. And we don't see the things they had to overcome. Yeah. So I wanted to point that out that like you went through a challenging spot, but you mm -hmm. decided to, to stick it out and, and make it work. So you're up to the point where you said you, you were adjusting the business, you were mm -hmm. uh, re reassessing things. So what happened there? We decided we were going to go for not what we wanted as such, but what people wanted based on their feedback and what they're telling nice. us. So everyone's like, Oh, I feel like I'm okay, but I feel like I, have, like I can't focus for that long or I, I lose interest or like I just get like disheartened and things. So we started putting it together and testing. Okay, so they don't really want the stims. They can, they can manage that with their coffee. They want something that's going to get their, their body and their physiology to perform. So particularly mm. for their brains, so all the fundamentals of their brains functioning so yep. that it can actually perform at that higher level and they can, they can go forward and move forward. Mm. So that's what we started to build, something for brain health and brain performance predominantly. Nice. Which is what led us to what we have now in Hans. Yep. We actually developed like a three of them in a, in a range. So we haven't got the other two out yet. That's, that's the goal. That's really where we're going next. Get the yep. three out and then it will be almost an all in one like box. So it'll have your brain health supplement. It'll have your focus like short term switch on and pair with a coffee kind of thing. Yep. And then your relaxation and recovery because that's probably far more important than the rest of it. Like mm. if you're just always wired all the time, your body's firing like a stress response all the time, yep. which does pick your brain up, but that's not good for your overall development. It's not made to run like that. So you need to be able to relax and have like deep quality rest and actually recover. So that's mm. what we did. We planned out the three products that we think would be fundamental for anyone who's looking to take their performance to the next level. And now we're in the rollout stage. So the first product on the nice. market, scale that a little bit, get some traction, get some cash flow, <clears> second <throat> one, third one, and then all three. So for, for those that are watching and listening, what was it, how long did it take you to do that customer feedback to take that information in, process it, make sense of it, and then roll out this plan that you're now implementing? It took us nine months. Wow. It took fucking ages. We're like, oh yeah, we'll be done in three months, but then going through like TGA and making sure the ingredients worked, finding, testing, and finding a supplier to use these ingredients we wanted and yep. were reputable and like wasn't going to screw us over. Like we had a couple of issues with the first manufacturer. <laughs> so we were very careful with this and that took a long time and getting them, they were, they were amazingly helpful, like our current manufacturer, but getting them to fit in like test runs and batches around all their other work. That was, that took a long time. And then getting all like the packaging and the labeling and like the, the marketing down pat took ages. So that yeah. was, that was part of the disheartening. And that was kind of, it was taking longer and we kept missing like milestones where we thought we were going to be by certain times. And that's yep. kind of what led up to the point where we're in Vietnam. Like, do we fucking do this or not? Cause the whole three months beforehand we were supposed to like, we, we had pre-sales <laughs> in August that we launched and like we had a bunch of like all the all of our like customers that we're talking to who had pre-sale and then we're like awesome we'll have it to you by december and it got to like early november and we hadn't even got the second batch of like trials and we hadn't got anything locked down they couldn't get ingredients and we're like oh. we're not going to make it by like 31st of december and if we don't make it by 31st of december we're not going to get product until like february which is what happened we didn't yep. get product till march so that, that's a challenge in itself because then you have to like, you know, start to display different 
I guess, elements of your business persona, which is how do I then ha- handle customers and, and have yeah. that customer care? Mm. We, we handled that as authentically as we could. So we were mm-hmm. like, look, this is exactly what's happening. We're sharing like updates like twice a week. We're doing an email pretty much <clears> like, we were putting out there. Anyone who wants to like get a refund would do it hundred percent. No questions asked. If you've got any yep. questions, please reach out to us. And if you know anyone who could help us get this going quicker, then let us know. So we're trying mm. to be fully like authentic nice. with it because that's really the only way to do it. You can't just hide behind it sooner or later. Yep. If you're lying about something, it's going to come out. Yep. Absolutely. It's funny. I just did a, um, I just did a, uh, a blog post on LinkedIn just recently where I was mm. talking about, you know, obviously right now with, with, with the whole coronavirus and stuff like that, there's many businesses have been impacted by it. And like one of the things we need to do is you need to step up as leaders, right? Like there's yep. fear, there's like issues with money, there's issues with our own mental ability, our stamina, if you would. Mm-hmm. And like whenever I talk about stepping up and being a leader, like the, the, the three main things when it comes to being a good leader, in my opinion, is number one, strong, open communication. I call it socket. So mm-hmm. S-O-C. So strong, open communication, mm-hmm. which is what you did. Number two is keeping it cool because obviously when you're stressed out and you're, you're freaking out, like your, your cortex literally shuts off, right? You go all the way down into the emotional brain and you cannot think properly. And you don't know that. You can't even tell you that. Don't, you don't even know that, right? And yeah. the worst thing you can do, and I, I watched a business just recently, like literally cut almost like, I'd say more than half. Cut, uh, their, I'd say, yeah, 75% of their business has like gone because the owner is, is hot headed, right? Acts out of emotion, doesn't like treat his staff as well as they could. It's dangerous, right? Mm. And like, you need to keep it cool and you need to give support to the people who are your customers, your staff, and just let them know what's going on. So that, that's really cool. Yeah. And like, those and what, things, what, what were the responses that you got? Just out of curiosity. Everyone was actually far more supportive than we, we thought. I mean, a couple yeah. of, we had to, I think in the end, give four or five refunds out of, couple of hundred that we got in pre-orders so like i was surprised i thought there were gonna be a lot more people than that who are going okay this company doesn't know what they're doing all right let's get out of here and like not support them but people were very supportive i think they i I like to think that because of how open and like transparent we were they could see that we were actually working towards this and not like like, messing them around or anything and then they start they they start to get engaged with your journey as well because it's it's you, you guys aren't just uh a, a, a nameless or faceless hmm. brand you are your company right which is really cool yeah yeah make it personal make sure you're you're connected and you can be seen behind it and then like you're for my personal thing we were incentivized to actually keep doing that so it's just adding more layers to the to the pie really yeah i love it so where you are right now you're have you you're, you've got enhanced done and ready it's yeah, ready to go is, is on the market it's been on the market for a couple of months now since late march we sent pre-orders out <clears throat> yep and that Something. there's mm-hmm. that there's about your brain optimization, right? Without the stims? Brain health. Yeah, so no stims. It's all about yep. the brain health and like under fundamental performance. So like all the mechanics below and surrounding that. So getting all your nutrients in there, getting all some key nootropics that will help like your memory, your focusing. Yep. And really what it is for is to help your brain perform at the high level. So where I see that it works the most is if I'm focusing on something that's you know, demanding, like cognitively demanding. I can stay on that for much longer before the brain fog kicks in, before you start to drift and things like that. And that's what we designed it to be, not to be like a stim to give you the motivation, just to help you stay at the high performing level when you're already there. And that is dependent on a lot of things. So especially people knowing what they want to do and be working on the right things. Yep. So what, um, well, might as well, before we move on to the other two products and you can uh, explain those, I guess what, what, because obviously, you know, a big, big issue with people is our nutrition. Mm-hmm. And like a lot of people are depleted in important things. Like, you know, I think I was reading something somewhere that said, you know, uh, a deplete, if you're depleted in magnesium, like that can, there's relationships between a depletion of magnesium yeah, yeah. and depression. Oh like, yeah. And a lot of things, magnesium and quality of sleep, magnesium and like, yeah, like you said, depression and things like that. It's, that's one of the, the fixing the fundamentals. You got to fix the fundamentals before anything else is really going to be useful. So what are the, what are the key things that you've, you've obviously found, obviously doing this kind of business? Like what are the key things that people are depleted in mm-hmm. and how does that kind of happen? Do you think? It's, it's a bit different for everyone else, but mm-hmm. I think the number one is like quality of rest, recovery and sleep, which is again, kind of influenced by depletion. So like you were saying, magnesium is one of the mm-hmm. big things people are like deficient in. So yeah. finding a source either naturally or supplemental, which could be, amazingly like the same level of quality and like benefit for you yeah find those things another one is people try 
encounter the negative cycle with caffeine. So they don't right. sleep well because they're deficient in something. So they have more caffeine and because they have more caffeine, therefore they don't sleep as well. Yeah. And that identifying and getting out of that loop isn't easy, but it's probably the best place to start. Like we always tell people, it's not about what you add in, what are you doing and what can you remove or fix right now that will yes. get rid of some of your problems before you add anything else in, fix the problems you're already creating for yourself. That's, that's really, really good advice because obviously if you, as you said earlier in the podcast, you said um, that it, when you continually put like stimulants in your body, that does obviously get your adrenal system working. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming that cortisol probably rise as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's like, a, jacks up, you get yeah, the adrenaline and things yeah. like that, which releases all like the glucose for your brain to function and for your muscles, but it's not like optimal. You, you're coming from like a fight or flight. So your senses get heightened, but yes. you're higher, like your frontal lobe gets kind of deep down regulated. So you yep. don't have the high level thought processes and you're in that state. You can't even realize it. So, yep. so for those listening too, then it obviously opens up the door to suffering more from anxiety, from yep. stress. Yeah. Cause that's one of those baseline kind of instinctual responses as well. You're anxious yep. because, Oh, what's happening. Is there a tiger chasing me down? There's no fucking yep. tigers. <laughs> yep. And there's also, uh, for those that don't know, there's a thing called uh, amygdala hijacking, which is where your amygdala can hijack the system. And obviously it all, it, 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 it's like you said, they're the building blocks. And if you haven't got the foundations right and you're trying yeah. to build all these complexities above a, a, a weak core, mm-hmm. then everything can fall down around you. Yeah. And it's, it's all about the foundations. It's like we say, like uh, our model we always run from is like the five pillars of human optimization, which is all about the fundamentals. It really is more of a pyramid than pillars, but yep. five pillars is a good name. So you yep. get like your mindset, which is obviously you need the mindset. Otherwise you could be the best body ever. It's not going to work. You yep. need the nutrition or the diet. So you got to be feeding your body the right things for it to work. Yep. You need your sleep or recovery because otherwise you just can be running like a broken down car kind of thing. Yep. You need your exercise because you need to actually strengthen and test the body. And then of mm-hmm. course you need like the supplementation yes. and people always go, Oh, why is supplementation the fundamental <clears throat> pillar? Well, it, it is for a lot of people, especially the way we live. Like we don't get everything we need. So, DHA, which is like a similar omega-3, which is yep. really important for your brain function. You don't get much of that unless you eat lots of little freshwater fish. Like right. and things. They're like the biggest source of it. So that's one of the fundamental things that most people could benefit from supplementing with is DHA or a good omega-3. And yep. The same for magnesium and things like that. And there's lots of them. So zinc is another common one. So that finding out what you're deficient in can make a massive difference. Mm. Instead of just getting a little better, you're, you're like filling the holes which exist. And that is going to just take you up that next level. Yep. So in respect, obviously everybody's got different food sensitivities and things like that, yeah. but like, what are, what are some of the, the core things that you've noticed with yourselves that when you adjusted that with your diet, you notice an increase in performance? I mean, the, the most effective thing for me is just fasting. So just not yeah. eating. <laughs> so I, I do at least like 20 hours of fasting every day. Oh, wow. Or, yeah, and occasionally do a bit longer. So I'm currently doing five day fast. Started from last oh. night and we'll finish on Friday. That's more for a mindset kind of. Yeah, thing. yeah. But I, for me, if I'm fasting, eat dinner at say six o'clock, and by the time you wake up and it's about nine o'clock, I just feel that little bit more switched on. I feel like lighter and kind of better. I can work harder. And then as long as you're balancing, making sure you get like high quality, like nutrient dense food, then like you're not going to be missing anything, and you just yep. have that window of like a higher level performance and you save more time as well if you're not cooking. Yeah. Nice. I love that. I do 18, six. So on average, and I've sometimes I'll do like a 24 hour fast. People yeah. think that's crazy, but they don't realize that if you go back to like the hunter gatherer days, like yeah. you weren't always eating mm. and yeah. like people, people don't get that. And people always think, Oh, if you don't eat, you'll just go into starvation and burn all your muscle. But that doesn't make sense. If you think no, about it. Yeah. From like that biological point of view, if you didn't get food, you're not going to downregulate your ability to go and get food by starving yourself. You're going to try and upregulate it and be like, okay, now you have my energy. Now you're more switched on. Go and find some food. Yeah. I, I see, we're going down a rabbit hole, which tends to happen. But would you, would you agree that there's, there's a bit of a... Uh, the best I could say is that you could say that there's been a bit of misinformation over the years in regards to what the right food is. Even if you look back to what we were taught in school, like for most people, like there was that pyramid and it had like all these high carb foods at the top, right? <laughs> and it had like your good fatty foods, like basically not there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's like a big thing. And there's a lot of research now, especially with the keto diet and things like that, mm. which 
is all about like not eating that many complex or simple carbs and then eating yep. lots more fats and things. But I am very against just saying everyone must be keto. Everyone must be this. It's very different for a lot of people because you've got completely opposing tribes in like, you know, the blue zones, you've heard of the blue zones, the longevity oh. zones. Okay. Yeah. So long, it's like the, there was a study probably 20 or 30 years ago where they looked at all the longest living civilizations and communities, communities in the world yep. and looked at their diet and lifestyle factors. And like the diet was so varied. So like, that's one of the things that came out of it. Like you can't really give everybody a blanket one. Everyone mm. kind of needs to go based on what they're allergic to, based on their genetic background as well. Yep. So if you're from Northern Europe, you're probably going to eat more meat and more fat and less vegetables because there's uh -huh. less around yep. and like find out what works for you. So blanket rules is like one of the things I hate the most, especially for diet. I love it. That's but really it good. All the time. It yeah. does. And what's interesting, right? Like in 2000 and, uh, 2014, I think it was, um, my wife and I decided to, to give the whole vegan thing a go, right? Mm. And like, you know, my sister's vegan and I have plenty of vegan friends, whatever floats the boat, floats the boat. But like mm. for me personally, like my wife, she's fine. She, she can be vegan all day. But for me, I, I had noticeable decreases in my ability to focus, my ability to perform, my energy levels. So I, and once again, I'm, I'm the kind of guy that I go all in. So I did it. Like we, I can't remember how long it was exactly. I think it was a couple of months. I was hmm. vegan and then I became vegetarian and then I became is it back? <laughs> pescatarian. And then I'm sitting there, right, with my wife. One, one night and, and I was looking at this meal and I was like, said spaghetti bolognese. And I'm looking, I said, I said, Shani, I really feel like some spaghetti bolognese. She goes, what, you're not going to be a vegetarian pescatarian anymore. I go, nah, it's done. Why? <laughs> but everyone's different, as you said, like, and it didn't work for me. Yeah. And there's a lot of like, cases of that. Like I, I personally know a lot of people who go down, not necessarily vegan, but like all of carnivore <sighs> or really heavy into like keto and like, right. it doesn't work for them. I'm like, it may may or may or may not work for you, but that's where you have to test and try things. Yep. The optimal balance is probably going to be somewhere between maybe seventy five percent keto and twenty five percent like normal. Like you don't know yet. Go I, and and, figure it out. Yeah, and when I give people like you know nutritional advice, which isn't very often, but I keep things simple. I'm like, look, it's pretty yeah. fucking simple. Increase your hydration. Have have water. Bet you don't drink enough freaking water, man. Yeah. And decrease your sugars. Let's just, let's just do that. Those two things. Yeah. Increase your water, decrease your sugars. Nice and easy. Yeah. And whole foods. And that's <laughs> yeah. literally it. That can fix or well, get people, most people to like 75% of their, all the way there. And then it's just like small iterations and whatever works for them will get them the rest of the way. Absolutely. And then there's just lots of companies out there that like to do marketing to try to make you feel like you have to do special diets. When the fact yeah. is, as you said, there's, 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 there's that pyramid, right? You've got nutrition, movement, sleep, you've got supplementation, like you get those things right and, and you're laughing. Yeah. And like, it's up to you to figure it all out. Like I keep saying this, but like people advice from people can get you so far, but yep. they are not you. You figure it out, which is like the, the whole, the biohacking or like the whole optimization side of yep. it that we look at. It's like, we want to give people advice that will get them to this level, but then we're trying to encourage them to like take responsibility for their own life and their own like health. Yeah. That's really what it comes down to. You've got to fix yourself to move mm -hmm. forward. So obviously you've done a bit of, bit of customer feedback and stuff like that on your startup journey. Like what are the biggest reasons that you found that people are like buying your products? Like what, what are they, what are they looking for? We've got a varied bunch of people. There's a couple mm. of different like segments that we've realized so far. There's the people who are big into the exercise side of things and they're like in the healthy lifestyle and they, they yep. know that like this is important for them and they're taking it for that reason. And like they would a multivitamin kind of thing. They, like, they yeah. understand that it's important to get the fundamentals right and it works. And they like, they are the ones who take it and probably get the most benefit out of it because they're doing yeah. the other things as well. So that's like sports performance? Not necessarily sports, more health. There's a sports okay, yeah. performance people as well who take yeah. it, but that's a slight, slightly different reason. It's more the health people. So people who are into sports and exercise, but it's not like the goal of their life. They're doing it for the healthy lifestyle factors. Yeah, and, like, gotcha. They'll so get there. You get the people who take it because they want a quick fix and then realize there's no quick fix. It'll help them, but it's mm. not going to fix everything. It'll just give them that little step up. They still have to do the work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're yep. the main ones really that actually get a lot of benefit from it. Yeah. Nice. Uh, this a lot is of a, them, yeah. yeah so no, sorry, finish then. I was going to say a lot of them seem to be, a lot of them are like people in their own businesses or people who are doing something like the movers and like shakers of the world, which is exactly who we want to help. We want to help the people who are going to make a difference. So these are the people who have already started to step up 
and they're yeah. like, okay, I got to take responsibility for myself so that I can do what I want to do and help people. Love it. Nice. Here's, here's a random question for you. I don't know if you've, you've, yeah, yeah. you've had this or, or thought about this. Uh, nootropics, supplementation and kids. What's, mm-hmm. what, what's, what's the deal there? Cause I've got parents that listen to my stuff. Yeah. I'm a parent myself. That's interesting. I would, um, I always somewhat cautious of anything for kids. I, hmm. I actually wouldn't recommend it just because there's not enough science out there and they don't yeah. necessarily know. I mean, developing brains are a different ball game really hmm. to develop brains. And uh, I wouldn't want to be giving something that might be raising say a certain neurotransmitter and, the levels of neurotransmitters in the brain are like keys for the development and function and like changes. So yep. if you were to raise that, you might be altering how it would develop and change. So that's mm. my general take on it is until you're at least 18, probably even like 20, I wouldn't be like touching too much of this stuff. Yep. Great response. Yeah. It's, awesome response. It may be fine, but it also could be wrong. And like the, the cost benefit analysis, or sorry, the risk reward analysis yep. is not really in your favor. Mm. so for for like you know your, your teenagers that are kind of getting in when i say teenagers i mean you know kids that are like you know 14 15 years of age that are starting to get into like going to the gym or sports and i want to take like all these different supplements and pre-workouts like what kind of advice would you have for people like that uh, focus on the fundamentals sleep recovery <laughs> getting the right exercise in there and the right nutrition and yep. then some supplements that we know are fine so like creatine and caffeine and things like that and then uh, I wouldn't really want to be giving any more recommendations than that. This just people are all different. I don't want to be pushing something and then people take it and go, Oh, that was bad. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, fundamentals, always fundamentals. It's nice. I love it. So you were talking earlier about, you know, obviously right now you've got a bit of interest in biohacking and mm-hmm. like tech and how that can relate to performance. So let's chat about that. What's currently you know, your kind of hot bits of focus right now when it comes to tech and, and, and biohacking. Yeah. I'm, I really want to get my hands on some TCDS, so transcranial direct stimulation devices, yes. which sounds dangerous, but it's really not. So it's things that they use that can essentially put a weak electrical current across your skull and that gets uh, through the brain. So conduction through the brain and you can yep. activate the neurons to fire a bit more in certain areas. So if you can upregulate, say the motor cortex, you can upregulate how quickly you can learn to move. So like you were mm. mentioning for the halo Hello, Hello, yeah, yeah, yeah. Headsets. It's like a headset with TCDS. So you, you wear it while you're exercising. It has a light current, which just helps the neurons fire at a higher rate. So you wire them. So fire and wiring, you've heard that term. Yep. So neurons are fired together, wired together. So if yep. you can get them to fire faster when you're doing certain exercises or movements, you can create the neural pathways to learn that movement faster. Yep. And people use it for music as well. So learning absolutely if you have that firing. I think one of there's a few studies on it, but they show they can learn 200% faster or something with these kind of devices. And the same is for, the same can be true if you set it up correctly for learning like skills and languages and things like that. So that's what I'm really interested in. That was my interest as well when I was originally looking at that Halo Sport. Yeah. There are other companies coming out with ones that are probably more suited to cognitive demanding stuff. It depends where you put the sensors across your head as well. So it's got to be in certain areas. There's one that, We've already pre-ordered the uh, in development and they sound amazing. It's called Hum and it's hum. a patch. They're yep. disposable patches, which is a little bit annoying, but it's supposed to be really good. And you stick it on your forehead and it's yep. a TCDS across your prefrontal cortex. Wow. So that is supposed to like help you learn faster, or help you read and memorize things faster. Yes. So they're, that's a company I'm really looking at. And they've been supplying them all to like the American Air Force and things. So it's really quite cool this stuff is really cool for those that are like watching and listening like i'm a bit of a geek for this stuff and it sounds like Mm. you are too Uh, like like this this is really really cool things like uh, most people don't realize that there are all these different gadgets and things that are coming out that can optimize their performance and one thing i've been massively interested in is like what's what's the what what kind of results can we get when we say combine something such as enhance with Mm -hmm. like you know a, a halo sport or yeah. something like that. Like what? what That's what? what I'm excited about. Yes. Like, I, I don't know because I haven't tried it yet. But there's like other TCDS devices that I'm looking at, EEG feedback ones. So yep. there's a like Muse headbands, which is like an EEG. So it measures the brain waves of the, of the like what state you're in. Mm-hmm. And the brain waves, people who don't know, are correlated between like different kinds of mindsets. So you have like the alpha ones, which are like switched on, kind of mm-hmm. high revving, kind of thought processes. And you can get lower to like gamma ones, which are like relaxation, like meditation kind of vibes. And then like delta ones, which are like sleep ones. So if you can 
get yourself into the brainwave pattern, which correlates with relaxed, high level thinking without stress, because alpha can semi be stress. And you can use these feedback devices to learn how to regulate that based on the feeling you get when you're focusing. Yep. And that's what it is. So the biofeedback side of things, Love the it. neurofeedback side of things. Yep. So I want to get my hands on one of those and start playing with it. I, you can put I do too. In like what you can measure to be based on the measurements of like thousands of brains, the optimal state yep. for like thinking and processing and creative solving. And therefore, you know that you're putting yourself in the best state, yep. which is going to have like flow and effects to your mindset. You're like, oh, I'm going to be, the best version. And I know I can measure that I'm in the best place to do. So it gets, it gets a placebo effect as well. Exactly. There's so many different layers of it. And this is really important because a lot of people, they, and I always see this, like, you know, it's funny Mexicans and, and that would say like, you know, I'm going to have an afternoon siesta and yeah. I'm going to have a siesta and have a sleep in the afternoon. Yeah. And there are a lot of people that really, they get that point of no return where they're pushing and pushing and pushing. And it's like, your brain is done. It's like, literally you've hit that mental fatigue and everything else is, is this, you got a point of diminishing return. And it's like, you have to just, just rest, have a nap. And the exciting thing about these, these kind of technologies and the combination that, Oh, I just really want to see what the result is mixing like a good nootropic mm. stack with mm good devices and then mm -hmm. this is very important for anybody that's going to go down this kind of um optimal performance route like it's not about doing lots and lots of work it's about doing focused good work it's yeah. like i don't want to who's this was it, was it bruce lee i don't want to learn a thousand kicks i want to do one kick a thousand times yeah and that's that's it but like that's also dependent so one thing that i always think of when i'm trying to put myself in a certain state is like what state and what level of performance what kind of mindset do i need to be in for the work i want to do so if mm. it's like mechanical data entry stuff you want to be like revved up not necessarily creative but like processing quickly but if you want yeah. to be creative then you need to be a little more relaxed so you need to have like the the tools and technologies and like the supplements and things like that to put you in that mindset and that's like dependent as well because a lot of people go down the route of it oh obviously if i can just feel like i'm more awake that's going to be better for everything but no it's not that's not how it works is ebbs and flows. You need to be in the right kind of mindset for the right yes. kind of work. And it's all in like cycles. So like high work, slow relaxation work, creativity, and then high work. Yep. Like it's ebbs and flows and you have to work with that in your body. And these and, are just tools to help regulate that a little bit and really optimize yep. it for what you need to do at that time. That's what's so exciting about all these these tools and technologies is that it, it is allowing us to to monopolize on our ebbs and flows to get ourselves in the right state instead of trying to be like a steam train and just kind of steam train through our fatigue, which burns you out, leaves you. And once again, like that's condition that's conditioning as well. Mm. Massive social social conditioning. Like the only you know, I love Gary V, but you know at the end of the day, Gary has a very you know yeah. works works for him. And yeah his thing doesn't necessarily work for everyone. Like you don't have to go and bang your head against the wall and grind, 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 grind. You can be smarter. But that can work for some people. And that yep. I've come to realize that it's either, they're all different ends of the same spectrum, but it yeah. really just is where you want to be. So like you can be the whole Gary Vee, hustle, 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 get stuff done. Or you can be the whole relaxed, believe in yourself and put yourself in a relaxed state of mind that you'll do the work and you'll get there. <laughs> without like the stress of the hustle, but some people need that stress to get yep. them to that certain state. And like, that's again, we need to, what you need to figure out. And again, what these tools and technologies can help you help put you in that right, like part of that spectrum. I feel like they're, they're, they're two sides of the same coin though. They are. It's a spectrum. Mm. Everything's a spectrum. Yeah. Nothing's black or white. No, nah, absolutely not. Cause there's times where I am like hustle hard and I'm just going, go, 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 go. And there's other times I sit back and I chill and I just kind of get through my, especially my creative work comes when I'm this, I'm chill, as you said, you know, uh, like theta gamma, mm -hmm. is, is theta is what we, we use for hypnosis. This mm -hmm. is alpha waves where you get, you like kind of that relaxed creativity. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. 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 So you no, that's, it. yeah, that's exactly <laughs> right. And like we, I use binaural beats. I've been using binaural beats with hypnosis for ages. For those who don't know. Yeah, for those that don't know, they're just basically you got these different frequencies going in in both ears, and it's supposed to like synchronize your brain into a certain brain wave. So you know, and if if you you look out there, you just have to jump on Google. Like, what's the best brain wave for creativity? Well, it's probably going to be like a combination between theta, alpha, and gamma, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the best place to start. You can just find those pre-made tracks and go through it, and then if you dive into it further, you can find the like the generating 
like online things and you can just alter it a little bit for yourself, find out what works best for you. And then you have like your own like custom ones. Yeah. No, like nice. that's, that's fun. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so what is just cause we, we kind of briefly touched on it earlier, but as we kind of are going towards the hour long mark right now, um, and I start to slowly wrap it up. Mm -hmm. Um, Right now you've got Enhance, which mm-hmm. is is about brain health. Mm-hmm. What's the next two products in your suite and what's the, the what's the what's the roadmap for those? Okay, right, so the next one, there's two more. So there's Boost and Calm. Yeah. Or Chill. We haven't we haven't said all the name yet. But yep. Boost is the one we'll bring out next. So Boost is one that's more for like switching on performing at a high peak, but it's designed to be paired with your coffee or something. So it like extends it and like gets rid of a lot of the crashes and with the withdrawals of the caffeine. So you'll just have a smoother, longer, high performance period. And again, ebbs and flows. So this isn't like an everyday thing. This will be like when you need to like really be at your best. So if you have a presentation or something, or if you're going to go even on a date, some people take this stuff for, you want to be like performing at your peak. That's like the one that will get you a little bit higher. And that's the next one we'll bring out. And we're looking to get that out in a couple of months. So we're going to do the next batch of Enhance and then hopefully we can, get everything to line up so we'll have the cash flow coming in to get that one on the market as well and then we'll have the two going yep. and then after that we'll be leading into chill or calm names not decided which is like the down regulation the relaxation one so that'll be all about like lowering your cortisol lowering your adrenaline like switching into the relaxation state yep. so you can recover so even if it's not sleep it's just you want to you want to have a nice chill meditation calm day so your body can relax and recover start to rejuvenate a little bit start to mm. like down regulate the, the cortisol and like the adenosine receptors a little bit so you can be at a calmer level yep that's like the one that will tie it all together so you take like your enhance every day so that it's like your fundamentals for your brain performance as needed you take the boost so you go up and as needed but probably more regularly the calm one so you can relax and be ready to actually perform hard again so will that calm one be like something to have before bed or how do you kind of see that happening? Yeah. So predominantly, not predominantly, but largely for that, but also whatever you need to be in a calm state. So if you're going to like a meditation or something, it would be perfect for that. Or if you're just having a chill afternoon, you want to go to the beach and like relax and connect with friends or something, it'd be something to downregulate your stress and like just, put you out of that fight or flight and into yourself a bit more. That's cool. And that's obviously really important for people that struggle to switch off. Yeah, so it'd be semi good for anxiety. It's not targeted mm. for anxiety, but it kind of had the same effect that anxiety, anti-anxiety things have. So yep. relax you a little bit. And obviously that's one of the main things for sleep. A lot of people are too like wired or like anxious to sleep. So that's where the most of the benefit, and that's what we that's what we uh, designed it for really. Is yeah, so you yeah. can relax and then sleep calmer and have a better rest. Yep, nice. So look, mate, um, if you were to wrap this episode up with like the the, the top tips or advice for the people listening who really want to optimize their health, their performance. What would your, what would your top tips be? Like I said, like I've said a few times, I know. get the fundamentals down pat. Yep. So like your sleep, make sure you're recovering is probably the most important one and your nutrition. That way your body's getting the rest and all the building blocks it needs. Start getting the exercise in that's good for you. Even if you don't feel it, it's one of those things that you know is there and you feel when you don't do it. And a lot of people kind of skip out on that, especially people who aren't in the health space, yep. but those three, and then make sure you have the mindset in order. So mindset, it's probably something you can touch on more, but that's vitally important. And then if you want like a healthy element that you can get into the supplements and new topics, but that's kind of a bit more, you have to figure out what you need. So yep. either going and doing the research or finding someone who can help guide you in that is the way to do it. Yeah. Leave, leave, leave that to me. I'll tell them you need to get supplementation as well because your damn diets don't have enough stuff in it. All right, guys. All right. Your, much, food, your, food, your food does not have enough nutrition anymore. They've done the tests, you know, 50 years ago compared to now, the nutrition is not there. Yeah, It's different. It's very different. <laughs> it is. Now, awesome, dude. Well, look, to wrap this up, how can people contact you guys? How can they follow you? How can they buy some products? Mm-hmm. Give us your details. What's, what's the go? Yeah. Yeah. So the easiest way is to jump on the Instagram. So Neurotech is just the name. N-E-U-R-A-T-E-C-H. And that's like where you'll find all a lot more information about us and all the information we're putting out for mm-hmm. like education to help you perform at your peak, things like that. And then jump on the website, which is just neurotech.com.au. And you can get in there and like buy the products as well. And we're Fantastic. running a big working from home sale at the moment as well. So you, you get nice. our product 50% off if you sign up for the, the subscription and then you get all these discounts, all these other great kind of related products. So like the blue blockers, glasses, different supplement, which is incredibly helpful 
coaching and things as well. Wonderful. And like, that's all in there. Nice. And do um, you guys have a podcast as well? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We have a podcast as well yep. at the moment. So what <laughs> so is that? that? Is, that's a, the Neurotech Human Optimization Podcast. That's essentially talking to experts and businesses like the, on the topics I've been explaining in here. Because yep. the idea and the reason we started is because there are a lot of people out there who when we tell them about these things, like, oh, that's really cool. Where did you, where did you find them? I'm like, oh, we had conversations with these people and they're like, oh, who are they? Yep. Like, oh, this is something people are interested in. So yeah, we're, we're bringing together these experts and businesses to share what they know so people have the knowledge and they can start to implement these practices and also get exposed to like the the inspiration of what people are doing and building in this space so it's really it's like a, it's we're pushing like the wave and the envelope of what we can do with the technology we have but yeah. unless people know about that they can't use it and the mm. more people who know about it the more we can support it and grow it and push it forward which is like the selfish reason we want to do it we want people to help support and push forward all these things so that we can yep. all use them and benefit from them uh, awesome. All right, man. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on board. Um, yeah. Guys, make sure you check out uh, the guys here at Neurotech. I've personally bought their stuff before. I rate it and I will be buying some enhance again myself. Um, yes. But mate, it's been a pleasure. I'll uh, chat to you again soon. Yeah, awesome. Thank you very much for the time. It's been a, it's been a great one. With, all right, guys. So um, if you've loved this episode, make sure you hit like, hit share. Anybody that you know that's into optimizing the body, the mind, everything like that, tag them in here and we'll see you on the next episode of the Unleashed Unstoppable Show. Bye-bye.